this is a foregone conclusion. Is there anything, any amount of uncertainty that could creep in about the Fed's policy decision this afternoon, or is this pretty much all baked in at this point? Well, the policy announcement is likely to be unremarkable. unremarkable. A as you've mentioned, the market has been pricing in a 50 basis point increase, as well as the announcement of an inaugural drawdown of the balance sheet for some time now. So the bigger question mark surrounds additional rate increases going forward, both in number and size. So we'll be watching the chairman's press conference very closely to see if there's any indication of support for a potentially larger increase as we look out to the June meeting. Remember, earlier comments from at least some Fed officials opened the door for a 75 basis point hike. So again, we'll be listening to Chairman Powell to see if there's any indication that he supports that potentially larger increase down the road. So, so Lindsay, take us through your expectations, you and your team over at Stiefel. Is there an expectation that we could see 50s at the next X meetings? Is there a 75 that's possibly in there? What would have to change for those assumptions to really, really ratchet higher for those rate, rate increases? Well, I would agree that the door is certainly open for a larger 75 basis point increase in June, but I'm not yet convinced that the Fed will move beyond a 50 basis point increase. So to be clear, we are anticipating an announcement for 50 basis points later today, an additional 50 basis points in June. But as we look out to the second half of the year, with growth already slowing and the risk of recession rapidly rising, I think it's going to be difficult for the Fed to justify even maintaining this current pace of increases let alone accelerating the pace of rate increases. So I do expect in the back half of the year four 25 basis point increases. That would give us a total of 125 in the front end, 100 in the back end, taking the target rate to 2.5% by year end. Is there any way that the U.S. economy can avoid a recession or can the Fed engineer that so-called soft landing for the economy if it decides to pursue its expected path of interest rate hikes over the next, say, several quarters or years? Well, it's a very difficult question because typically the Fed is raising rates when the economy is overheating and the Fed begins to raise the cost of capital, tapping down consumption, tapping down investment. But at this point, the economy is not overheating. The economy is arguably just moderate at best, poised to lose further momentum from here as we're still struggling to grow organic legs in the aftermath of the crisis. So for the Fed to engage in such an aggressive pathway as they've laid out, I think it's going to be very difficult for them to to avoid leading us into extremely weak growth or worse, outright recession.